This review is going to be about the following cable cutters and how they cut compared to one another and are common tools used in the commercial poultry and swine industry and probably many other industries as well. Here are the cable cutters and their unlocked position. As you can see, three of the cable cutters naturally extend to a roughly the same amount of opening. We can put them on top of each other to confirm that, just to see. And roughly, they're all roughly the same, except the Nipex is just a little bit wider there. You can tell by roughly, I don't know, a little, little under an inch, probably, wider. And then from a jaw perspective, I don't know if I can get these jaws to line up right or not. But from a jaw perspective, the Nipex to me looks like it's got just a little wider jaw. But that may, that may be subjective. Here's all four of them lined up. And you can see that the what I call the banana handle cutters, they actually have the widest jaw. They don't have a measurement, measuring device, but you can just kind of tell. The bottom two are almost identical. The Nipex a little bit bigger, and then this one is the biggest. Now for the moment of truth, we're going to try to use each one of these with my one hand and see how well they cut. This is a 1 8 inch cable. That was these. Didn't require too much force, but they did require some. Next, I'll use the Nipex. Actually, I'm going to come back a little bit. Goodness. Yeah, that is not cutting with one hand. At least not with the strength of mine. I'm going to go back to these right here. And try these one more time because the first time I used them, they cut really good. Yeah, that's why I had it too far on the end. But that time, I could still do it with one hand with these. Next, we'll use these. Um, these are the Swiss made Felco C7s. We'll try them. Sorry, again, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Alright, so let's give that a go. Yep, that's the same as the Nipex. I'm going to get further at the base and use a little bit of leverage. That took a lot of effort. I'm going to try the Nipex again in a minute. But next we'll go with these cheap China copies, I'll call them. That are copies of the the C7. Well, I have to use leverage on these too. So, yeah, that took more effort than the Felcos did for sure. So right now, these are the winner. Made in the USA. Actually, of all these cutters, this is the only one that's made in the USA. The knockoffs made in China. The Felco C7s is in Switzerland. The Nipex is in Germany, and these are made in the USA. All right, so let's try this Nipex one more time, now that I kind of know what I expect. So, get in here, put a little leverage. That took some effort, for sure. I'll try these one more time because this is kind of amazing to me. These don't require any leverage, and actually, they cut better that third go round than the others did on the first go round. So, this is how I would rate these in terms of cutting ease based on. 
the effort that I required, I would say this is definitely the winner. This uh, off-branded Made in USA cable cutter, followed by the Felco uh, C7s, then the Nipex, and then that's the model number on the Nipex, by the way, the 9562190. Then lastly, there are the China Felco copycats. And that is my opinion, cutting 1 8 inch stainless steel cable. Hope, that, hope this helped. In terms of additional features, other than primary use being a cable cutter, the only one of these that serves additional functions is the Nipex by having a crimper built in right here. It can't crimp anything too substantial, but small ferrules or 1 16th or possibly 1 8th inch ferrules or sleeves, it could probably crimp enough to hold the crimp. But in terms of comfortability in the hand, um, I would say these felt the most comfortable. The Nipex were second, and these two are pretty much a tie because basically they're identical other than where they were made and some slight differences.